There is a strange winding road that leads from former Congressman Eric Massa to health care reform to why President Obama should quit smoking. And in a moment, Bill Maher ob obligingly leads us down that road. First, a reminder that former Congressman Massa had truly outdone himself with that Glenn Beck interview right up until the Larry King interview. And of course, as if that weren't enough, there were today's revelations about Massa, the Navy, and snorkeling like you've never snorkeled before. To analyze all of this, earlier today I spoke with Bill Maher, the host of HBO's Real Time with Bill Maher. Bill, 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 uh, just pardon the expression, but thank God you're here tonight. Uh, with this Eric Massa thing breaking, uh, Howard Feynman just wasn't feeling gay enough to talk about it tonight. And, uh, and you saw Larry King last night, right? You saw the big interview? I saw part of it, yeah. Well, I think, you know, the dean of TV interviewing, Larry King, has reset the table for how this stuff is supposed to work. So my first question to you is... Are you gay? <laughs> if, I, if I was, I'd be better looking. I <laughs> wish I was gay. I wish I was the kind of guy that at least people sometimes mistake for gay. Uh, but I have no doubt about this, Eric Massa. I mean, I would just like to know. I would be very curious. I would love to be a fly on the wall in that congressional steam room and see how many closet cases there are in this Congress. I don't, I don't, I think the Vatican has less repressed homosexuals than the United States Congress. It was amazing to listen to, wasn't it? I mean, he somehow made taking showers naked sound really gay. <laughs> Yeah, you know, there's something going on in the Navy. Now, look, I'm not trying to knock the Navy or any military branch. They certainly do things that I haven't done for my country, and they have my utmost respect. But, you know, why did the village people sing in the Navy? There just seems to be a lot going on when you're on a ship, you're on the water, you're away from home for a long period of time. I think there's a mentality a little like prison maybe where, you know, we're, we're not gay, we're just having sex with men because we're away from home for a long time. Uh, I mean, some of these things that this man describes, it, you know, it just, it, it's always reminiscent, these guys who are repressed homosexuals, of this idea that somehow it's just sinning. You know, this is what the evangelical Christians always say. Well, I, I'm not homosexual. It was just sinning. As if all of us men are looking to do the same thing, but we just don't because it's, it's sinning. You know, that story he told about being at the, the wedding and the guy comes up to him and says, you know, you really should be hitting on the bridesmaid. Now, uh, you know, I can think of a lot of things that I would say or a person in that position might say, like, well, I'm in Congress. Maybe I shouldn't be hitting on women at a wedding when I'm married. You know, things like that. But one thing I just wouldn't say that would never cross my mind to say to another man is, I really should be doing you. <laughs> and then tousle his hair. You know, the other one where he comes in on the guy on the ship and he's masturbating and slaps him on the leg and says, can I help you with that? Again, something I never really would do. Doesn't cross my mind because I'm not a sinner. You see, Lawrence, I'm not a sinner. I get it. Now, there's more news from the Navy today, Bill. It turns out that uh, one of the guys on the ship with him says that Massa was known for giving uh, Massa massages and uh, the occasional groping here and there. And then they talked about this thing. Again, it's a Navy thing, which they call snorkeling. It has to do with bunk beds and the guy in the upper bunk. But um, when you were in the Navy, was there, did they do that? Can you explain that to us? Well, I, I was not in the Navy, and uh, I was in college when the record came out from the village people. I didn't even really catch on to the reference then. I had to be a little older before I got it. Uh, I, I've never heard this term, snorkeling. No, um, no, no, wait, wait, we have again, to stop. We stop. There, there's a sexual term that Bill Maher has never heard before today. Right, and wow. I believe I coined Dirty Sanchez. <laughs> you did. Uh, no, I've never... <laughs> I've, I've never heard uh, snorkeling, and, and I didn't read the story today, so I'd, I'd really appreciate <laughs> being enlightened well, if you could tell me what, what snorkeling well, is. You, I mean, it does sound dirty. Right away, 
All we really know, Bill, yeah, is, that, is that it involves a guy in a top bunk and a guy in a bottom bunk and probably some symbolic form of snorkeling as opposed to an actual snorkel uh, going into uh, anyone's mouth. I, I, I'm just glad there are no glass coffee tables on submarines. <laughs> That's all I'll say. <laughs> Uh, you know, between between, <laughs> between this and teabagging, uh, it kind of reminds me of when Clinton was being impeached, member, and the Republicans were saying all sorts of things like, gosh, it's terrible. Kids can't watch TV nowadays without parents have to explaining to them these horrible sexual acts. Well, it's kind of like that again. What does Junior say when he's, Mommy, you know, you told me to watch the news. Uh, what happens when you're teabagging and you want to snorkel? I mean, it's like, <laughs> God, what sort of thing is... <laughs> I'm, uh, I am not sure that can be done, but uh, we'll need someone in the Navy to tell us whether it can. But, you know, one of the guys in the Navy also said today, uh, who, who served in the Navy with Massa, said today, and this is a quote, he said, it doesn't surprise me that he wound up in Congress. Uh, now, isn't that Congress's problem that America isn't surprised he ended up in Congress either? This is the kind of guy they think ends up in Congress. And that's one of the problems when Congress asks Americans if they wouldn't mind uh, Congress tampering with the health care system. Right. Well, of course, you know, we always laugh at the politicians, and we should. I'm glad we have them, especially as a comedian. It's, it's great fodder. This is why it was so amusing to me when people said, when Bush was leaving office, do you think comedy will be able to continue? Yes, I think it will be able to continue, because there's this endless supply of people like Eric Massa. Um, but, you know, you kind of have to look at the people themselves. They vote for people like that, because what is their criteria when they get in the booth? It's very rarely to elect the smartest guy. Uh, they elect just this, this unending parade of creeps and ignoramuses. I know. You know, because you talk to them all the time. Most people don't talk to their congressmen. I talk to people who come on this show. Now, there are some people who are very bright, but there are some people you go, wow. There's just nothing going on above the neck, is there? You won this office because you spouted some platitudes, somebody wrote on a card, you wore a flag pin, you said the right things, you didn't step in any of the ditches that they laid out for you, you didn't touch a third rail, and that's why you're in Congress, but you're an idiot. And when I see this creep, give every possible excuse that he could when, his, when he was first defending himself. I thought, wow, he goes right down the list. First he blames it on health, then he mentions his family, then it's the climate in Washington. I thought, okay, are we going to get to personal responsibility? Are you going to get to that part? And darn it if he didn't do it. Yes, I disappointed myself because I'm usually such an awesome dude. And I thought, wow, you stuck the landing, dude. You got every single one of them. Now, please go kill yourself. Bill, when we come back after the break, we're going to talk about serious affairs of state. No tickle fights, none of that stuff. We're going to be back with the serious stuff. We'll be right <laughs> back with more Bill Maher on Countdown.